my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to redesign all of my Pandora bracelets. I never really played around a lot with my uh, charms and I just wanted to switch it up a bit. Um, if you saw my latest haul, you know that I got a new bracelet and some new charms. And I still had like my original bracelet, the first ever bracelet that I purchased. And I just wanted to redesign them. And I'm very happy with how they all turned out. So you will see that all in today's video. If you like to watch vlogs, fashion, beauty, and also Pandora related videos, then make sure you subscribe. And I will link the playlist of the Pandora related videos somewhere up here so you can watch it after this video. And don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because you really help my small channel with that and now let's get started with the video so i decided to rearrange and redesign all of my pandora jewelry i think it's going to be quite a long video so get a snack get something to drink so i have four bracelets in total but i never really played around with them a lot like i still have my original bracelet my new bracelet and a bangle which can fit lots of charms but I just want to shake it up a bit and play with them. So yeah, let's get started with getting all of the bracelets out of the package and um, getting all of the charms off. I have a little hack and that is to use a pass to open the clasp and the clips. Um, I struggled with that quite a lot and also damaged my nails but this is such a great hack and i'm going to show you guys how to do it and i'm just using a random pass and this is my disneyland paris magic pass so let's get started with the first bracelet so the first bracelet is my new bracelet and uh, maybe you saw it in my haul which i will link somewhere up here so you can check it out but these are the newest charms that i all got for like mother's day christmas and to be honest i also really like this combination but i just want to change things up a bit and get everything off so that's what i'm going to do as you can see everything is still so nice and shiny because i just uh, wore it a few times so it's brand new all of the charms as well so yeah let's open this and this is how you can use the pass just put it between the clasp and then you can open it so easy so as you can see i have a clip on here as well so this clip doesn't have a silicone grip so as you can see it moves around so that's why i'm going to use it for another bracelet uh, still the charms won't fall off but if you like the clip to stay on your bracelet you need a silicone grip so i'm going to use this charms on another bracelet and then put a clip with a silicone grip on this bracelet so again you can just get a pass between the um, clip and then you can open it as you can see okay so i'm going to put all of the charms on here and as you can see now they slide off so i will definitely recommend getting a clip or um safety chain for your bracelet my toddler is napping right now so i think today i'm just getting everything off um i also want to take some pictures for my instagram page if you haven't followed me yet on there go follow me on there it's at my pretty everything um so i'm just going to take some photos as well from the charms and then i think tomorrow i will redesign everything okay so let's get out the next uh, bracelet so this is my original bracelet and this is how it looks right now. Lots of Disney Pandora, some Moranos and I think I also need to give this one a clean. So yeah, let's get everything off again. And also let me know if you like to watch a updated Pandora collection video where I show you all of the uh, charms in detail and also my other jewelry pieces. And also let me know if you like to watch it like this up close or with my face in it, if that makes sense. Maybe that feels a bit more personal or do you like to watch everything up close like this? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. So also let's get everything off this one. So 
here are all of the charms and the bracelet. I think I'm going to give them also a good clean. Maybe I will film um, that a bit as well, or maybe I will film it for an Instagram reel. So here are the two bracelets. And then the next bracelet uh, is a bangle. So I'm not very busy with that one. There's just one charm on that. Uh, let's see. And then I also have here uh, three clips, which I will be using later when I redesign them. And then the last bracelet is my two-tone bracelet, which is rose gold with silver. So pretty. So let's get everything off. the next day and I'm going to redesign my bracelets so I put everything in this box um, so these are the bracelets that I got so this bangle which I can't fit loads of charms on because it's quite fitted for me then I've got this snake bracelet with a silver heart clasp um, this was the first bracelet that I got and this is flexible and I believe my snake bracelets are all 19 centimeters and this one is I believe 17 centimeters then I've got my newest bracelet with a crown clasp which is just so stunning absolutely love this one and as you can see this one doesn't have like the um, little metals where you can put the clip so you need clips with a silicone grip and then here I've got my two-tone bracelet. This one got a rose gold clasp. And again, this is a snake bracelet. So I've got three snake bracelets in total. And then one bangle. And I just put all of my charms in here. Um, I've got a new clip, which I will show you guys. And um, here are also two of the clips that I won by the giveaway. You saw that in my Pandora haul. So these clips I got, uh, I won by the giveaway. These rose gold clips. And these one have a silicone grip. And then I've got this new clip and I'm going to put this on my two-tone bracelet. So I think I'm going to design two two-tone bracelets and one silver one. Okay, so let's get started. I've got the bangle, my original bracelet. My newest bracelet, as you can see, it's still so shiny. And my two-tone bracelet. So let's get started with the bangle because I can't fit loads of charms on here. And I already know what I want to put on this one. So let's see where it is. Um, yes, here it is. This is so pretty. It's dark blue with some zirconia stones. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous. And on the back it says, dream it, wish it, do it. And uh, yeah, this one I'm going to place on the bangle because I think it goes very well with like the snowflake clasp. And I think this is the only one that I'm going to put on this for now. So let's put it on. Look how pretty that is. It's so nice. So yeah, I'm only going to put one uh, charm on here for now, I think. So that one is all finished. So like I mentioned, I want to design two with rose gold and silver. And the other one, I think I'm going to put like loads of Disney and other silver charms. So let's get started with the all silver one with the Disney charms. So I'm going to put those away for now. Okay, so let's see where I have all of my Disney charms. So here I've got my Elsa charm. My sister got the Anna one, which is so cute. And I also want to put some color on them. So I think I'm going to put two pink Muranos. I've got actually three, but the other one is slightly more of a like warmer toned pink and where it is here. So I think I'm going to put this one on a rose gold um, 
bracelet and then I also got a red Murano and I think I'm also going to put that on another one but I will have a look so um, yeah I want to put these Muranos on that one then I've got let's see the Cinderella carriage which is so pretty this Mickey and Minnie charm maybe this goes also well with the red Murano I don't know we have a look maybe I'm going to put it on here as well and then um, let's see yeah the Disney castle this is the Disneyland Paris castle and this is a park exclusive charm you have charms that you can only get in the Disneyland Paris parks and it says Disneyland Paris also going to put that on that bracelet and then the safety chain this is a uh, safety chain with all hearts on it and it goes well with the clasp and let's see I also have a crown maybe that will be cute as well I'm not really sure yet um, and of course some clips so let's see I've got here my rose gold clips I'm not going to use them um, no I'm going to put those away I have this daisy clip and this one with little golden dots. I think I'm going to use those. If I put the Muranos between there. Mm. Maybe like this. That's quite cute now. I'm going to put the other ones next to it so I can spread all of the charms out. Otherwise, maybe one is quite full and the other quite empty. Okay, so let's get started with the two-tone bracelet. So I have one clip with a silicone grip. So I'm going to put that in the middle so the charms are a little bit more spread out. And I also have a safety chain, which is the family safety chain. And I'm also going to use that on this bracelet. So let's have a look to the rose gold charms. I have this little heart with feathers. Then I have the Pandora crown in rose gold. This balloon charm, hot air balloon charm, which I won by the giveaway. And let's put the other bracelet here as well so I can have a look. Um, so I'm going to use this clip on that bracelet. Let's see what charms I have left. Okay, so I have also one Murano and that color is kind of similar with the hot air balloon, um, with the Murano in the hot air balloon. So maybe that's nice to put them together. But I also want to put here a bit of rose gold and silver. Um, Let's see, also spread out the bangles a bit. Then I also have two daisy spacers, which are also very nice, like to put them, like to put a bigger charm, like a dangly charm between them. So um, maybe I can put it between this little heart. Then I also have oh my mini charm that also has to go of course on this Disney theme charm a bracelet I mean. Then I have this one with all little hearts and some golden hearts which is so stunning. Um, maybe on I don't know I'm not really sure about that one. Maybe on that one. Maybe I can also keep this one quite simple, just like that. Um, let's have a look. Then I also got the A from Axel, my son. Mm. I can also put maybe two hearts on this one or mm, no so 
I think I'm going to design them like this. Um, I spread it out some of the dangly charms and some of the Muranos as well. Um, I see here I have two dangly charms next to each other, so let's switch that up. But I think this is going to be quite like a cute combination. And maybe over time I will make another video to change everything up again. But just I think I'm going to design it like this. Um, this bangle I'm just keeping quite simple. And yeah, let's put them all on now. So this is the bangle with just one charm on it and I think the snowflake clasp goes very well with the blue sparkly dangle charm. Let me know what you think of this one. And then I kept my new bracelet actually quite simple with a little bit of rose gold silver and this fuchsia pink charm. Um, yeah, I think it's very simple but very elegant and I can definitely stack that bracelet with the other rose gold one. And I'm very happy with how this one turned out. I love the pink with the rose gold together um, and you also have the pink again in the hot air balloon charm. And um, yeah, I absolutely love this one, a few dangly ones. Yeah, very pretty. And then my last bracelet got lots of like Disney charms. I love that the Mickey and Minnie charm has some red in it and the Murano as well. Um, Elsa's dress, a few pink Muranos, the Disney castle, the Cinderella carriage. And I think it goes very well together. Yeah, very cute. So let me know in the comments down below which bracelet is your favorite. I'm wearing the two-tone bracelet right now. And I have to say, I just really love how this one turned out, but I love them all. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give the huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other Pandora videos. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!